D5 is one of the best architectural and product visualization render engines that is jam-packed with features and can easily achieve photorealistic results. Compared to other rendering software in the field, D5 is relatively new, but I'm pretty sure you would be impressed by its ease of use and what it can achieve, at least as far as visual fidelity is concerned. I mean, just look at some of these scenes. The quality is outstanding. The render engine features a robust GI solution or global elimination solution, in addition to a dynamic weather system, an infinite library of high quality and ready to be used models and assets, and a shot editor so that you can create camera animation and render images up to 8K. But what I want to talk about today is their latest scattering system, which makes scattering anything in D5Cs like a breeze. A quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by D5 Render, which helps bring more content to you guys. So, welcome everyone to this video, and I hope you're doing great. I know that content has been slow on this channel lately, but we are planning great content for the future, so stay tuned for that. Also comment below what you want to see in the future videos. Alright, D5. I want to get to the new scatter feature, but I just want to get a moment and get everyone up to speed about what D5 Render is. In a nutshell, it is a ray tracing GPU accelerated real-time visualization render engine, which is mouthful to say the least, and similar to Lumion, to Emotion, Keyshot, and even Unreal Engine, it is aimed specifically at architects, visualization artists, industrial designers, product designers, and ArcVis artists. Even though it was released just three years ago, D5 Render hits all the right boxes, like cutting edge lighting and atmosphere effects, state of the art global illumination, fog, dynamic sky, and a weather system. In addition to NVIDIA DLSS support, full PBR workflow, and on top of that, it integrates itself with all the major 3D software like SketchUp, Rhino, Revit, Max, and Blender. So you'll be able to sync your project seamlessly if you are using D5 and these 3D software, or at least one of them. The latest D5 2.6 release introduced a ton of new features, notably a few AI-based tools. You know, everyone wanna jump to the AI-powered bandwagon, which I don't know how I feel about. But in my opinion, as long as it helps artists and users make their lives easier, at least in some way, and it helps you achieve your vision easily, I can't be mad about it. There are two AI-powered features. AI Atmosphere Match, which adds a functionality where you can grab any image or HDRI and copy the lighting information from it to your project. The other one is AI Texture Generation, and this one helps you generate secondary maps like normals, roughness, and AO from the color map, as well as other features like UV randomizer, multimedia material transparency, a custom sun in G1 sky, in addition to other features. And not to forget the procedurally generated vines, where you can generate vines super quickly by just placing a marker exactly where you want the vine to grow. The vines will follow walls, wrap around corners, and behave exactly like real vines. And you can of course customize the vines, like their size, shape, and so on. And you can do that in real time. And the best part is, the tool is surprisingly responsive. And with this new 2.7 release, D5 introduced their new powerful scattering system. And I don't use the word powerful lightly. One of my biggest gripes with D5 was its scattering tools. The old system was kind of limited. We didn't have any customization, and if you wanted to adjust anything, you had to do it all over again, but that's no more. The new system introduces two ways of scattering your assets, material-based and model-based, and both work fairly similarly. But I think the material workflow will be the one people are gonna use more, because in Blender or SketchUp, you can mark multiple areas in the same model or surface. A grid area comprised of little cells is generated and highlighted, and now you can add and control your vegetation through the scattering panel. You can scatter individual assets, trees, bushes, and grass, or you can check out the new category in the asset library called Scatter, which consists of pre-made presets and biomes. At the moment, there are 33 presets, which are already sufficient for a wide range of projects, and I'm sure the library will expand in the future. You can pick between long presets, wild grass, mountain forest, near water, brushwood, wetland landscapes, and more. And it might be just me, but the new scattering system feels much better and much more responsive 
in addition to being snappy. And thank god it doesn't slow down the viewport too much, as this many assets on the screen would definitely crash Blender, in most cases. Also the scattered grass is fully procedural so it is virtually impossible to spot any repetitions. You can further subdivide any area by using one of these dividing tools, which are different image patterns that can achieve different scattering patterns in the same materials. You can further divide and control these using density maps, which are black and white masks, and you can blend between all of them seamlessly, which gives you a lot of control, so getting something realistic is only bound to what you can achieve. And of course, looking up references can help a lot here. And if this is not enough, there is also a paint mode where you can use the brush to paint assets manually and even detach some of the scattered clusters to put them exactly where you want. And since scattering is random, you might want to position the tree next to a camera. And since the scattering is random, you might want to position a tree next to the camera. You can do that easily by detaching the model and moving it to the desired location. And this is just amazing, coupled with the high quality materials and visuals. And I can safely say that this is one of the best scattering solutions right now. So, if you want to learn more about D5, check out their new launch and tutorial video on their YouTube channel to get in-depth explanations about all these new features. And links will be down in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.